before escaping into the town, which has now gone into chaos. Many of the townsfolk have become the, the militia that they've been preparing to be. Uh, armored with whatever they could find, they managed to take down a number of the large, hulking, zombie, giant guardians throughout the city. Many lives were lost in the process, and the battle is ongoing. As you rushed towards the center of the town to check in on the Sun Tree, finding all the previous bodies that resembled the members of Vox Machina cut from its boughs, um, Keyleth, you pick this out in the rain, and it's kind of hard to see, but um, from this angle, you see what looks to be uh, eight ropes currently just dangling free <gasps> from the sun. They became vampires. Damn it. The Jesus. tree is the spawning sp spot. Really? Or maybe one of them. Yes. Or maybe they cut yes. them down. No. No. Is... We gotta cut down this tree. Does it look like the ropes have been cut, or is? You can go just... closer to inspect if you want. Yeah. Uh, all the ropes are very finely cut. Oh, they yeah, they cut. cut them down. They cut them down. They cut their dead down. They, I think they good cut guys. them down just like Ty Leary. I think that this is like where they hang them to ripen, and when they're ready, they pluck them off the tree and set them on their way. Uh, you saw swarming in towards the center of the city a large horde of skeletal undead clattering forth into the dark. Uh, as the sun has now set over the horizon, the rain beginning to pour heavily into the center of the town. Uh, there was efforts meant to keep the army at bay as you all rush towards the west to escape the immediate fray. I got. I, I might be able to do something. What is it? Say it! Well, we're waiting. I might, I can, I can do like a big ice storm or, 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 or do something to take all these fuckers out at all once. All of them? Thirty to fifty of them? We'll kill them all? No, Keyleth, we've got to go. It's a big range. We've got to go. These aren't even the people we want to kill. They're a done dead horde I army. Say, I say we let her hit them and we run. Okay. All right. I've got this. Everyone stay back. Climb as high as I can. Okay, make an athletics check. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna climb up after. Oh my god. 15, okay. Yeah, you uh, make your way up to the very precarious top of the branches. It's very, very, you can feel the brittleness of it as the tree itself is, its life force is withered over time and, and some of it cracks and some of the, the actual bark of the tree kind of twists off in your grip as you get to the very top. Uh, the number of undead from this angle, uh, what was initially like a 30 probably pushes closer to about 100. I'm gonna start making an ice storm. Damn. No, no, come on, please. I need more. So, the first area, suddenly you see some of the, uh, the clouds above you begin to funnel downward, and a few bolts of electricity through it as the funnel hits, it grows dark, and then all of a sudden this cold wind begins to swirl around it, and with that, it almost the, the cloud almost seems to tear open within itself, and a sheet of uh, jagged ice and sleet begins to pour downward into the center of this undead horde. As it does, you can see probably a good 25, 30 of these are just blown oh. apart. Bone shards scattered around, and you can see bits of, of uh, rusted metal weapons and armor thrown left and right. Ah. Um, the ice then kind of coalesces over the floor of this area, and some of the skeletons just kind of slip, but they keep marching forward. Yes, yes, she's the tits. We still have to go. Uh, as you get to the bottom of the tree, the um, the zombie giant has taken notice of the sudden flashing of light and the movement in the tree and is <laughs> bounding towards the tree after you guys. Leave them standing! The giant as we're running. Okay, uh, as you guys all land. Hunter's mark him. Okay, you hunter's mark turning around looking at the giant. Ah! Ah! Damn it! 
Uh, she says that, I'm gonna go ahead and start casting my Call Lightning. And as she's like rearing up her bow, I'm behind her and I just do bring down the bolt for 32 damage. Damn. You can see the bolt strikes the front of the zombie giant right as it starts swinging after you guys. The bolt hits its shoulder and blasts a chunk of its shoulder blade off. You see bone shards fire behind and there's a giant piece of its torso now missing where the bolt hit. It starts uh, lumbering 49. forward again as Vex releases her arrow, which splits into three. Vex, uh, 54 points of damage. Whoa. Kill it! Nice! All the arrows blasting into its body. You can see they sink in and burst on the inside. There's a little, uh, a dull glow as this kind of burst of electrical energy hits from underneath its sickly uh, zombified flesh. At which point there's a slight delay before it bubbles forth and a little bit of its internal liquid spews out like a Ugh. boil. I'm a zit. Get it? Yeah, it's it's still moving towards Let's you guys. Go I pull out bad news. The bag. The moment you guys are turning around to attack it, it has gotten within range to hit, so this is all happening simultaneously. So it's gonna get it's gonna get uh, two strikes as you guys get your attacks. Take Bolt, rolling, oh, I take 16 points of bludgeoning damage as its fist just comes down and whack slams into your side just as bad news fires off and your daggers go towards it. Dagger, flame tongue, uh, combined 20 hit points. Okay. 22 points of damage plus he's knocked prone. Okay. Did it's still managing it to keep its zombie form through. It seems like every single hit you're taking chunks off of its body, but it continues to push through the damage until eventually it swings at you with the hit. Bad news goes off as it blasts through the center of its torso. It takes out the back of its spine. Holy shit! Hey, do that again! It can't keep its physical form together, and as its body lunges forward, you throw both of your daggers, which go thook, thook into each of its eyes. It falls forward, the torso seems to roll on impact and come after you like a slow-moving boulder for oh. a few feet. But you, since you're all moving forward, you manage to outrun it, just barely keeping out of the way. The legs walk on their own for two more steps oh. before they just oh. forward into the mud, kind of relieving all of its internal intestines into the, the rain-soaked ground. Tall. We fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> we are we still running? Are we still running away, or are we, we just got to the tree line, right? You guys haven't got the tree line yet. No, oh, we Jesus, we are We're still running. Out of town. There's right. a shitload of skeletons behind us. Are they us like right behind us? I'm still riding Trinket. Giants. At this time, you are on Trinket. The rest of you are running through the muddy streets. Your feet are slick against the ground, and you have to catch yourself every now and then from not tumbling forward. As you guys are now looking behind and seeing this undead horde pouring into the central road that you're traveling along. Oh shit. Uh, you hear a voice ring out from the other direction towards where you guys are running. There! Run! Eat them! And as you guys glance away from the army and back towards the path where you're traveling, you see what looks to be about 10 armed villagers. Um, you know, various pieces of, of armor, some nicer than others, some have seen some, some you know, use over time, but nevertheless serviceable and functional. You see at the front of them, uh, Brother Yenin. I'm oh, sorry, uh, oh, sorry, Keeper Yenin. Yenin! It isn't safe here. The Dawnfather called and we answered. I think I know a sign when I see one. Uh, is at the front of them, armored up, shielded his side, holding aloft uh, the holy symbol of Arathis in his hand, and they're all just running towards you guys. Oh, <laughs> They're about 100 feet from you in closing. I would advise bringing them with us instead of stopping. But all the villagers that aren't in armor are still in town. Shit happens. Let's I'm find out back. what happens. I'm going back towards the skeletons. 
<gasps> you're, you're you're, I was carrying you. Daring. You're on Trinket with me, aren't you? Can you carry both no, of us? No, I was pulling about shit. I break from Vax's grasp oh, and start running back. Uh, go ahead and make I either an ask. This, this, wanna... this is heavily breaking a grapple. <laughs> I've rolled an 18. Five. <laughs> With that, the slick, the slick rain across her forearm, she squeaks her arm out from your grasp, and with that moment, you feel her disappear as she rushes back to You never could keep a lady. I immediately, <laughs> I immediately pivot around and follow. Right. I start uh, conjuring up a fourth what? level flaming sphere. Okay, do keep in mind, you still have call lightning coming, so you would be, you'd be losing the call lightning this time. Flaming sphere. Okay, so with that, the darkened clouds that had gathered begin to slowly disperse as you begin to focus, running forward. Uh, as you are charging, using the momentum, the air around you begins to slowly grow and ignite before a ball of flame <laughs> bursts into your peripheral and you can control it at will. Okay, here's my question. Are they like funneling down one, one main street? street? Yeah. How wide is that street? About 20 feet. Okay, uh, with kind of my flaming sphere hovering above me, I'm gonna throw up a wall of stone. Oof. Okay, wait, not before I... Shoot my Contra Barrage because I said I wanted to fucking do it before do you the did Contra that. Do the Contra Barrage first. All right, so Contra Barrage, what? what <laughs> Contra Barrage Don't first. Don't fucking block my arrow. So as as you create the sphere and it's kind of rolling to your side, as you begin to concentrate, look over your shoulder and you see Trinket <laughs> running up, just mud slung as each one of his claws begins digging into the earth, pulling him forward. <laughs> On its back, you see Vex pull out an arrow, pull back and concentrate. The arrow itself seems to split and shatter in her hand, almost like the wood itself. <laughs> It divides into five or six different shards. Awesome. As you release the arrow, it bursts into a, a, a funneling cloud of sharp wooden splinters that just fires out from the front of you. The explosion of splinters just shoots outward, uh, just com completely disintegrating the first row of about five or six of them. About five or six past them, get a bunch of sh uh, splintering their bone, their rib cages shatter open, and they. <laughs> Try and move forward before they collapse in on their own structure and scatter into the mud. Um, let's say you, you destroyed 10 of them. Okay. Um, you can still see about 50 or 60 slow pushing towards you at this okay. point in time. Keyleth. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna conjure it from underneath me. So I'm gonna kind of, as I see them filtering up, I want to pop it up right from underneath me to where I'm on top of it. Okay, and the width of it's gonna cover the entire uh, street. street? Yeah. Okay, so she lifted 10 feet up into the air. You can now see, about to crash into the wall, what looks about 70 or so skeletons just <laughs> scraping into it. You, can, you guys can all of a sudden hear, through the rainfall in the distance, the scratching of metal, shields and blades and bones scraping at the stone wall and <sighs> I'm gonna try and climb the wall. Clattering. So I'm gonna I take, the, the, uh, take the, the fire sphere and just start funneling it right down and start cleaning house. You guys have caught up to the wall now. The rest of you have turned around with her. I, yeah, I, I ran for a few more feet and then I looked around and no one else was running with me. So I just turned around and restarted running back with my little gnome legs. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm climbing the wall. Climbing the wall. Okay, you guys get up on top of the wall. It's about you know four or five feet thick. It's a little precarious, not too much to really much of a bother to you guys. Uh, you get to the top and look over, and you just see this sea of thrashing about skeletal entities. Some looking fresher than others, um, and all intent on trying to find some way. And you start to see some of them are starting to climb up over each other to get to the height of the wall. Can I see any giants from up there? Make a perception check. While he's doing they, that, I'm yelling at Grog. Of they were, death. They were Grog! But are they all dead? Grog, throw me up over the wall! No! Over, over, at least over. to the top, to the top, to the top! I turn back towards the villagers. Oh, I think we do. Who are probably running up at this point and yell, FIRE! BRING FIRE! You see Keeper says, Fire won't help. But I can. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. And so can she. Oh. Oh. As he looks over his shoulder, you can see the uh, the villagers are parting, and there is running behind them this this form of a, a small <laughs> humanoid armored entity, but glowing. Her actual, <laughs> form, her actual form is is comprised of glowing radiant energy. 
like an actual <laughs> avatar of Saren Rain, the form of a tiny gnome cleric who's <laughs> charging through the, the, the rain. It was an honor fighting with you. It was a valiant effort, friend. Each droplet of rain that hits her body tss, just immediately evaporates on impact, and she comes charging towards Whoa! you. Guys. How much you hug I'm reaching, you right I'm now, reaching down to help to help her up on the top of the wall. <gasps> All right. With that, you lift her up, and she's lighter than you recall, and almost like a gentle feather of herself, she lands on her toes in the top of the wall. You look down before you, and there there is a, a a horde of skeletons that are right now about to crush the wall. You see two right now that are lashing at one reaches for your leg. I'm. Taking a shot. Can I have Trinket lift me, like stand up on his hind legs and up against the wall so I, I can perceive. climb up and stand yeah. on his shoulders? I perceived. Uh, you broke the gun? No, I, no, I he no. Oh. I didn't, I didn't wait. Come on. I perceive. <laughs> 15 points of damage. With the rocketing <laughs> sound, the pepper box fires and the skeleton in front of you just explodes into splinters of bone. However, the moment that that one is gone, another one seems to already be crawling into its place. Whatever you're gonna do, do it! I'm firing again. The ship fires and blasts off most of the skull of a skeleton and you see its jaw kind of hangs open, but it's still... Firing one more time at it. Okay, that one, you clearly destroy the top of its skull. The rest of it just kind of crumples into the pile and disperses into the monks of chaos. Uh, the horde, though, is now as almost like a wave of, like there's so much of it that's pushing up against the wall and beginning to swell up to reach the top of the 10 foot wall. Um, the flaming spear uh, rolls over the top and slams down into the front of the group as it hits and impacts. Uh, it pushes through 10 of them. Uh, seven of them are destroyed. The, the bone chinder, uh, cinders and burns and then crumples into itself. A few of them manage to just push out of the way, kind of like, watching as it rolls past. You can hear this constant pattering of rain evaporating against the flaming sphere as it pushes through, uh, the mud boiling left in its wake. As that's happening, you get up to the top tree, it pushes you up on the yeah, top. Yeah, I want to shoot lightning arrow down into the, the core of it that I can see, just a big group of them. I want to go up there! Pike's up there! 19 damage? Yeah. Okay, so the first one just takes full damage, explodes as the uh, Lightning arcs through the air, the arrow hitting the central skeleton. You see the light actually burst into the top of its skull, causing the kind of bluish green glow to shoot out of its eyes and mouth as it explodes and detonates. Everything Sides. within 10 feet. Exactly, which would, 10 feet total? That would be, wow. <laughs> 16. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the this shockwave blasts outward, and you see skeletons being thrown. Pieces of skeletons, uh, you know, arms and, and weapons and, and pieces of shield and armor being flung in the air. Uh, as you see, twelve of them immediately disintegrate and explode around it. Um, in that moment, though, the horde pushes again and fills that gap almost instantly. You do see the end of it now. At this point, uh, it looks to be probably a total of sixty-five left oh, in this okay. section. In the uh, roll perception check, eleven. Okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I look at Scanlan and I say, go get it, and I grab Scanlan by the back and I throw him up onto the wall. Scanlan leaps up and you land next to Pike. Hi, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. Man, you look good. Uh, oh man, I'm so distracted by your beauty. Hey, let's let's kick some ass together, shall we? <laughs> Come on, let's go. <laughs> <sighs> Marry me? Okay, let's do it, right now. Wait, what? what? Seriously? <laughs> no. It's good to see you too, Scanlon. Listen, how about we talk about it after we murder these unholy fucks? And with that, uh, both Scanlon and Pike, what do you guys want to do? Am I allowed to jump off? Can I jump off of the wall? Oh, you can, yeah. Or into the group? Uh, I kind of want to try. I kind of want to see what happens if I if I, I try to cast Turn Undead. I kind of want to see it. I kind of want to see what it does. All right, so and you should go make an athletics check to see how far you can jump. Oh! What is she rolling? Huh? She accidentally rolled a ten, so oh. she was re-rolling for a d twenty, and she, and she rolled, rolled a natural twenty. 20. <laughs> Given that circumstance, uh, it was a feather. <laughs> you in, in in this this semi radiant form, you just yeah. you're back and leap into the air, and for a split second, you see with a flash of light, almost like these momentary feather angel wings, just burst out of the shoulder <gasps> oh, of, of pipe, that <gasps> flap once, and then disperse into. Uh, sparkling feathers that vanish under the rain yes. as Pike leaps out, landing 35 feet in the center of this. What? On top of a skeleton, uh, you slide down its body as its shield pushes you off to the ground and you land on your feet. And as far as you can tell from your eyeline, 
All you see are chattering skulls and blades around you for all visual perspectives, and a little bit of the skyline above you, a little bit of the clouded night sky. As you see all the skeletons begin to reach for you and their blades come pulling down towards your armor, you curl into a ball, clutch your holy symbol of Saren Ray, and through the connection that has allowed you to be here in this moment, you feel this welling up radiant energy just burst out from you in this shock wave of uh, glowing uh, radiant force, just <laughs> blast outward. Skadoosh. For that entire blast wave radius, um, which would be uh, the entirety of this road leading back for about uh, 60 feet, you end up turning to ash roughly 36 of these skeletons. Whoa! <laughs> just boosh, the rain itself is disintegrated by the the sudden wave of heat and there's just uh, a cloud of ash that turns to mud immediately against the rain and slams against the nearby buildings slowly dripping down the sides uh pieces of metal armor just go slamming to the ground rolling <laughs> into piles and piles of currently unused weapons um, our jaws are just yeah uh, as you look up, you can see the remainder of the horde, which you're looking at probably about, at this point, 20 or so skeletons still uh, pushing forward at this point, just mindlessly rushing towards the closest thing they can see, which is this glowing beacon of a gnome in the center of the street. Galen, what do you want to do? Uh, by the way, can I just say, that's my girlfriend who just did that. <laughs> <laughs> I, have to, I have to go to her aid. She jumped 35 feet out there? She did, yes. Can I do that? If you want to try. She rolled a natural she 20. She rolled a natural 20. Jesus, that was hot. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna try to jump to her. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got to limber up first. Uh, stretch out the calves. This is going to go so Ready. poorly. <laughs> natural 20 for love. Can't watch. Natural 20 for love. love. Yeah. Four. <laughs> <laughs> is this acrobatics or athletics? It's athletics. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nine. <laughs> <laughs> the wall itself is slick, and as you push down, you you lose your your traction in the front. It doesn't cause you to fall per se, but you manage to get ten feet off the actual uh, wall, landing <laughs> with a foot in the dirt, and Pike still twenty five feet away from you. It's okay, then I, then I'm gonna cast lightning bolt on them. I, will I hit Pike? Is she in, in my line of fire? Uh, not if you angle it towards the edge. I will angle it then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Oh, and also, lightning bolt comes from for, out of my body. Out of your body in a straight line. Can I? Oh, I would like it to just just spew forth out of my my gonads just at them. Of course, of course you do. Also, well, I'm trying to impress Pike. Uh -huh. I got a lightning, lightning. dick. Yes. An, ar an arcane display of virility, if that ever there was one. Uh, Scanlan does a singular, classic, ancient technique of the arcane thrust, and uh, <laughs> with such a bolt of energy, goes firing out, just barely arcing around Pike's form, and the bolt arcs through and slams into uh, seven of them. Two of them survive. You see that they're kind of burnt, charred. Forms and one of them's missing an arm now, and the armor itself is still kind of arcing little bits of energy. Uh, five of them, however, just explode into black, burning bone chips. Looking over your shoulder on the other side of this wall, another bit of skeletal uh, horde is starting to come down one of the nearby intersections and oh it's starting no. to fall on the other side of you guys. Oh, yeah. we're tra getting trapped. Oh, yeah. shock. We should but have fucking run. <laughs> <laughs> you do see, however, that the group of 10 villagers and, uh, and Keeper Yenon are currently. Like rushing towards that group to hold them at bay, and Keeper uh, runs over his shoulder and says, "You, don't worry, we've got this. You do what you must. It has begun. Finish it." Oh. Our people can handle it from here. Go, Percival. Take back what is rightfully yours. I don't know how to thank you. The Dawnfather has found life in you. Use his gift wisely. 
and goes charging forward, holding his shield forward, rushing towards the group of skeletons. You run off the wall and make it up, not, not a problem at all, speed. Uh, Pike, as you see the rest of the skeletons uh, zoning in on you, uh, Vax suddenly just rushes to your side, daggers at the ready. Uh, three skeletons are going to take swipes at Pike. Two of them try and swipe and you just knock you're out of the way with your shield. The third one does hit you in the front of the chest, but the armor deflects it entirely, and the blade actually sinks a little bit into your form, but the radiant energy that holds your position there just pushes it off, and the blade itself seems to almost dull yeah. from the impact. I'm and going to take my blades and spin you. around, pommel out, and I'm going to start punching. I have no idea if this will do anything. There is a symbol of Saren Ray sewn into this glove right here. I'm just going to start... Uh, I don't have the boots of haste on, so I can just take two swings. So the first one misses entirely. Okay. And the second one... So you do three points of, of Vax fist damage <laughs> right to the skull. Yeah. She killed 36 <sighs> of them! <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it hurts at impact, and you feel like the bone kind of weld a little bit as the skull kind of... Oh. Back oh, towards you. Well, this symbol does nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to soak up damage for you, Pike. Let him hit me in the face. It looks great. Can I make it around the wall? 19. I'll say you leap up on the wall, use that as, as kind of a stepping point, and jump as far as you can. You get yeah. 20 Purple. feet forward, uh, beyond the wall, <laughs> land with your with your hammer to your side, <laughs> flames flickering off the edge of it. Tea time. And I rush up with the more hammer and swing. I was picturing tea. <laughs> like, like, you like, 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 no, like so Happy Gilmore. <laughs> As you smack into it, you can see the bones themselves oh, are brittle by fine. nature, but the solid slamming force of a you know a thick piece of, of honed metal into the side of this bone brittle creature just sends it shattering to the side. You get the feeling that these entities are uh, particularly fragile against bludgeoning weapons. Twenty-two. The second one just explodes up into the air. You can see one of the yeah. shields goes flying off and lands on one of the roofs, almost like Walter White's pizza. I dodged. It's just the stuck up there. Um, as I'm saying, as, as part of the weapon master, you cannot rage, kill something, and then get a free attack with your Well, hammer. let's throw some shit then. <laughs> <laughs> so with the chain of returning attached to your hammer, you go ahead and <laughs> send it swinging towards one of the further skeletons. Yeah. The hammer slams into its uh, rib cage, causing it to cave inward. Its entire you know upper body just falls into itself as the hammer, just not meeting any resistance, goes <laughs> beyond and <laughs> splotches into the mud. Pull it out with a sticking sound, catch it in the air, the blood kind of dripping, uh, the, the, the mud dripping off of it, but you see it burning away as the flames begin to yeah. you know, push yeah. through the like actual the mud. mud. Yeah. Gross. Never know a place until you lick the mud. Gives <laughs> Burns some of the taste buds as the searing hot edge of the uh, hammer <laughs> <laughs> So you're on two sides of the wall, uh, the rain's pouring so heavily. Uh, there's a flash in the distance of lightning. I want everyone to roll perception. You see in the flash of lightning in the distance, you can see just barely on the other side of the uh, of the town square what looks like the outline of a giant currently slamming into something. And you out of the corner of your eye, you see a second one to the south side of the city. We need to go kill those giants right now. We have a holy gnome right now. I don't know how you came That's to us, true. Pike. We need to go to them, and then we need to go oh, to the Briarwoods no. now. I'm out of we spells. Can't, now. We can't go to the Briarwoods now. We can't go to the now. now. I am out of spells. Yes. Granted, we're going to the Giants now. We have now. a choice. Yenin, can you hold till morning? As you're shouting this over, he is currently about forty feet away, right now, slamming into the front line of skeletons, grabbing his own holy symbol, and you see another similar burst of energy to the Ooh. one that uh, that Pike let out earlier. <clears throat> So that same Eric. dull, yeah. bassy impact sound. You feel a shudder in the ground beneath you as a series of more skeletons are immediately dis disintegrated in his proximity. Looks over his shoulder. Till morning! Why wait till morning? We're fighting now! We'll do what we can. <laughs> Hold that thought. Are they? Are the two giants together, or are they coming from opposite no, sides? No, there's one over there, and there's one off in that direction. One to the east, one to the south. Let's split the say. party. Split the party! I say we do it. <laughs> Fuck it, let's split the party. I think we better split up. Good idea. Yeah, we can do more damage that way. Uh, well, nothing bad ever happened after splitting the party. Certainly not. Certain death! And now with the party deciding to split, we end part one of Vox Machina versus the Whitestone Horde. Stay tuned to part two where we see how the group split up and how they fare against the undead stone giants.
And with that, we draw this episode to a close. I just want to take a moment to thank you, viewer, for taking time out of your day to view this. If you're a returner, welcome back. And if you're new and this kind of entertainment is your jam, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite parts are. And for the love of Saren Ray, please everybody hit that like button so that these videos can get spread out amongst all critters and non-critters alike. Also, if you're digging my kind of content, feel free to check out some other things I have here on the channel. First stop maybe should be the Good Bits playlist, where you can see snippets of my other gaming content that are treated with the same panache that I have here in these. Some other games that I recently started was a zombie survival apocalypse type game called Last Stand Aftermath, the recent release from Steam Games Aperture Desk Job, and the action roguelite Have a Nice Death. Stay tuned for more and thanks again for watching. As always, my name is Judgment Fish, and I will see you in the next adventure. Take care, everybody.